Welcome to the review of this tortoise house I purchased off of Amazon. Here are the instruction booklet and the labeled bags with the hardware for installation. Next this shows the wooden construction pieces used for the build. Pretty straightforward. The instructions are clearly defined and easy to follow. This is a pretty easy DIY and build even for a novice. Pay attention to the way the pieces are facing during assembly. The pieces have wooden alignment dowels as well as screws to hold the mating pieces together. I did a dry fit prior to fastening the screws. Since it was a loose fit, I decided to add some wood glue for additional support. The pieces are a little rough fit but will work as intended. Once again make sure to face the pieces as shown in the instructions. Two screws each on the outside panels and only one in the middle section. During the installation you may have a hard time starting the screws as there are no pre-drilled holes on the three middle panels. You could possibly use a second person to assist. This will make it easier to align the top and bottom of each panel. Flip from the front to the back to install the back panel. I noticed that there were a few of the wooden dowels that were sunken more than the others. I added wood glue to this side as well. I was one screw short from the package so had to find another screw to finish installing the middle panel. Depending on how you flip, make sure you are aligning top and bottom. The middle panel only has one drilled hole for the screw. Once the front and back panels have been attached and secured, it is time to flip to the bottom to install the single piece with the plastic bottom. There are four screws that attach the bottom to the frame. Once again, there were no pre-drilled holes to align. Make sure front to back and side to side are aligned accordingly. You will see once the legs go on there is an issue with where the four screw holes are located. Once again, the instructions are clearly defined and the parts are clearly labeled for each area of construction. Next, the instructions say to install the two top sections, one with the solid top and the other with the mesh grating. You must flip the unit over to install these. The pieces will have hinges that go on the back side of the unit. I would set the pieces on top and align them both before using the provide screws to attach to the unit. Check front to back and where the two top panels meet. There may be some adjustment to avoid them rubbing together. As mentioned since these are small screws and no pre-drilled holes it may be a little difficult to align. Once the hinges are secured, I would check the fit against each other to make sure there is no rubbing. The instructions call for the locks to be installed next. Since this is for a small tortoise and he will not be escaping from the top, I chose not to install these. Next will come the accessory for the lamp post. There is no predetermined location for the alignment other than on the side with the mesh you can place this anywhere along the side. I chose to place the lamp post mount in the middle. I did measure to make sure the top and bottom would align vertically and not be slanted to one side. The lamp post has adjustment up and down and side to side to allow for proper placement of whatever lamp or bulb you may use. Next up in the instructions is to install the four leg post. They are clearly marked in the instructions as well as on the parts themselves. Make sure you attach according to the instructions. I also added wood glue to add another layer of strength. Unfortunately, when I opened the labeled bag of screws, one of them had a defect. I had to go and find another suitable screw to keep going. Once all four legs were installed, it felt sturdy. However, the next steps called for adding cross bracing from the leg to the bottom of the frame. 
you will see that's where I ran into an issue. Upon following the instruction placement, it appears that the four screws that mounted to the bottom of the frame fall right in the drilled hole alignment of the cross braces. I had to improvise and drill separate holes in the cross pieces at a different angle to allow for it to be secured. I hope they fix this in the future for others. The final product is decent. It is lightweight and easy to move. Good tortoise house for the price. Overall was a good purchase. This will be used for a long while till the tortoise outgrows it. By far the hardest part of this build was removing the plastic film covering the plexiglass windows. This took about as long to remove the film as it did to build the full cage. I understand the need for it to be protected however this was a little overkill. However, as mentioned it's a good product for the price and it will be used for a long while. I like that it looks more like a piece of furniture than just a playing box. Thanks for watching this review.